Hello. This is uh, called the Ashanti Golden Stool. It was found in Africa around the 16th, 17th century. And it, apparently it fell from the sky. And the, the British tried to get a hold of this device, but uh, the Ashanti people fought tooth and nail to keep this in their possession. But, but, but it, nobody knows about this device is, it's not actually a seed. It's not really meant to be sat on <clears throat> because what this is, it's a thermoacoustic ULF transmitter and receiver. And you can see here, there's holes in it. This sits above a heat hole and hot air rises and it, it causes this to vibrate because it's made out of wood. It's tuned to a, a specific note and it's overlaid with gold. And what happens is wood gets magnetic when it gets hot, or not wood, but gold, but wood vibrates when it gets hot. So when you get put heat to this, the wood vibrates, and it's made out of gold, it becomes magnetic. It, it makes a vibrating magnetic field. And so this, this is pushing frequencies in, uh, in the ULF, ULF band. And here you can see that, you know, it says frequencies between 300 hertz and 3 kilohertz have been designated as ultra low frequency and these frequencies can penetrate some distance into media such as water soil and rock so um you know i wish somebody would tell the saudi people that um the device is a it's a transmitter receiver running on thermo thermoacoustic energy um, so if you want to research this, it's uh, called the Ashanti Golden Stool. Um, and there's another thing here that I really didn't want to point out because I don't really have a good image, but there's this bowl here. And if you look carefully here, there's these holes at the side. And I didn't see this bowl till after I designed a singing bowl. So my bowl design is a bit different, but you know, there's variations you could, you could use. But the, the dead giveaway is these holes here at, at on the sides of the uh, the bowl, and, and what happens with these is, uh, you know, water condenses in this bowl, and, and it comes out these sides, and what it does is it cools these granite discs that sit underneath it, and it allows the current to flow across the discs, uh, alternating current. So what it does, what it actually does, is it creates an electromagnet. So if you want to know more on this, watch the video "Galaxy in a Box: The Thermoacoustic Universe." Remastered edition, and that would be this video here, and you'll get a lowdown on what kind of technology is this is. Now, the the Ashanti people, they have no idea what this is. It just fell from the sky, and it's part of an energy device that was used, you know, maybe about twelve thousand years ago. And, um, and you know, the British colonials they tried to get a hold of this. They they, they sent the army, and, and and they just couldn't get it. And, and there's a there's a legend that goes with this, you know, the, called the, the legend of King Arthur. And there's a lot of parallels, you know, because um, they never really, really could prove that the story of King Arthur was real because they were they were looking in uh, ancient British history, but there's no King Arthur in, in British history. But if you look at the the Ashanti people, um, it has a parallel because there's also a sword in the stone. And I'm not going to show it here. I might show it later. But not only do they have, you know, that bowl, and they got this uh, ULF transmitter, ultra low frequency transmitter. Um, they also have the sword in the stone. And you know, Muhammad Ali went there in the 1956, I think, and he tried to pull the the sword out of the stone, and he couldn't pull it out. And there's a reason because this is a stone that, or a sword that you can only pull out. With a certain note so uh, you know as the story goes with king arthur um you know he he, he spoke a word or you know you have a certain note like maybe oh you know but you get get it to vibrate and you pull the sword out and so if you want to research more about this just look up the ashanti golden stool and the ashanti sword and you can see the parallels with king arthur and the holy grail and stuff and like I said, I showed you this bowl here. 
you could call it the Holy Grail, uh, uh, but it, it's a singing bowl and it's got a spout for it because water condenses in it and it'll run off on these electromagnets. But there, there's more, so watch the Galaxy in the Box, the Thermoacoustic Universe uh, Remastered Edition, and you'll get the lowdown. All right, good night. Thank you very much. Bye.